CA Pay. Back at you with another video. So we're looking at this 2019. The battery on this 2019. I've disconnected everything. So this battery's basically been in for three years. Um, I normally don't work on this bike. I normally have other people work on this bike. So we're gonna figure some things out today. First and foremost, in a second here, I'll come back. I gotta figure out how to take this damn battery out. Yeah, this is some BS right there. So I'm sure somebody laughing in this video, but I haven't worked on the bike before. So what we're gonna replace it with is, well, I put a little small things on the bike, but I ain't messed with the battery before. We got this new battery. Got this battery from Sling Mod. We're gonna play with that. So this is the battery. Got it from Sling Mod. I think it was like a hundred bucks. Come with some screws. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't really check this one out. Okay, so this one has double post on it. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. That's what's up. So you ain't got to put everything on one thing. You can kind of mix this around. All right, I'm going to light this. Man, this battery kind of heavy, actually. Got a nice little weight to it. But, so as you can see, the battery, the bike's been dead, so let's go to that. See, when we press the button, nothing happens. The bike's been dead. Bike has never went dead before. This 2019, I've had since early 2019, it's never went dead before. Uh, so one of the things that happened to me was, and I didn't notice it, I put this new brake on. When I put that new brake on, that extended brake, the weight of it, I guess, is so heavy when I get off the bike, the brake lights and everything are still on. So then I get off the bike and I get in my car and I take off. The brake light is still on because somehow the sensor still feels the weight of that brake. And it drained the battery because the brakes never went off. So then it drained the battery. Then, yes, I could. I tried to jump the battery. It was taking a little bit to jump. It just needs to be changed anyway because I got so many aftermarket accessories on here. So... We're going to do that. I'm going to come right back to you guys in five seconds because I'm going to do all of this within five seconds. I'm going to figure out how to get the battery off in five seconds. I'm going to get this thing going. So let's do the countdown. I will have this fixed in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that loud exhaust? But we got the new battery in. The old battery is out. We got the new battery in. The old battery only has two posts. The new battery has four posts. Put the battery in right. Your boy has successfully done it. Couldn't get the battery off. This is the strap that you gotta pull to get the battery off. It connects like down in here. We did it, folks. The beast is back together. The beast is back. We're gonna let y'all hear for a second. Yeah, boy. And I put that back baffle in. So I put the baffle in in the back, the back one. It sound about the same to me, honestly. But who knows? So I have successfully put my new battery in and the beast is back together. <sighs> it's a wonderful day. Get in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Get in the comment section. Let me know if you changed your battery out yet. I'm back in love again. Probably had to replace the battery again in like two, three years, depending on how many times I actually put this thing on a trickle charge. But until next time, my friends, CA Pate out.